what's going on everybody dj go ham here welcome back to the channel it's pop some news baby Today, we've got 37 PC mods in testing. We've got 27 console mods in testing. With all those, 28 mods were released today. Lucia's Mining has a new go-kart. Blue Organ updates us on the progress of his John Deere 6R. JHHG Mining shows off a new row unit. White Bull Mining are already working on something new. Stoneway Designs is back. Ada Mining's got a new salt spreader. Agri Mods have an update to their planer. FDR Logging have some fixes. FDR logging have some fixes for those of you experiencing problems with the mods. Plus, Peter716 has an update to his Animal Husbandry's pack. Let's check it all out. In Test D4 PC, we have Alpha 2.1, Big Prefab Package, Crawford Farms, Cultivator CVACN, The Derg, Bill Hud Extension, Fork Pushing Syrup, Garage, Griffin Indiana 19, Italian Rice XL, Gokerling Vector 460 620, Chrome TX 560D, Lieber L538 Forester, Lizard D20, Lizard T870 Skid Steer, Mamut PM 4.0A, Massey Ferguson 7600, Maze, or is it corn? I don't know. Mesco Z133. Metal Tech WP8. Nefast 9509 Logging Truck. Nordike. OBE PX125 150. Pallet Order. Petite France. Player Pays for Crop Destruction. Record KMR 2400L Evo. Plus Plus. Ribiri RS100 RB. Ruba Jet. Let's go. Sorted Shop. South Piranha. Speed Limit and Restriction Signs. Stara ST Max 150 and 180. Storage Building. Way Station. White House. Probably not the one you're thinking of. And the Wilson Pace Setter 50 foot. In testing four consoles, we have the British Animal Husbandry's Placeables. Bucks County PA, still in testing. Flowers Deco Pack. Our Top Block Console. Jen's Hem A21 Chipper Truck. John Deere 1870 Air Drill. John Deere 750A. John Deere C850 Air Cart. John Deere CCS 2113. The K Brand VB2190 with attacher to Ursus Z586. Ricefields of the North. Lizard 9509. Lizard Lola. Loader. Lizard Tressless Cyberquad. Let's go! Metal Sheds. Pickup 1969 Brazil. Placeable Old Ramp. Placeable US Speed Limit Signs. Planer. Rossum Ash Power Stream 900. Shooter Maker Vertigo Pack. Seasons Geo South Moravia. TLX 48 Foot Enclosed Trailer. TLX 48 Foot Tanker Trailer. TLX 9000 Rigid Series. TLX 9000 Semi. And Verpom and Rugen. With all that being said, we still have 56 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is three worked. Days. In addition to the mods and testing, 28 new and updated mods were released today on the in-game mod hub. I've already made a video showing these off because you guys evidently want new mod videos before news, so we'll continue doing that. And you can find that video linked in the description below as always. Making our way into today's top stories, and we start with Slusha's modding saying working hours in the field is not always good or fun. And we have a solution for that with something a little bit fun for everyone. As you can see, this is obviously a go-kart and more specifically, a little bit of an off-road style go-kart. We have been getting more things similar to this recently and I am all for it. I love some of these fun equipment, some of these fun, these four-wheelers, the cyber quad that's in testing right now, things like that. This makes Farming Simulator not only fun, but gives you more options to do the things that you want and have a little bit of uh, well, fun while you're doing it. Farm sub doesn't have to be farm work all the time. But if farm work is for you all the time, we got something for you as well. Today we hear from Blue Organ Modding talking about the John Deere 6R US series and that it has been submitted to Giants for testing for all platforms. They say some of the features will be front weights, beacon lights, front fenders, protection grid, 100 year celebration stickers, Starfire 6000 options, animated doors and windows, foldable side indicators, two different types of front loader attachers. You have one from the in-game uh, 64 or 643R and a Type 2 made specifically for the H480 by Custom Modding. How cool is that? That's going to be a massive front loader on such a beautiful tractor. I'm so excited. Also, for our fans of the green team today, we've got something from JHHG Modding. It says the row unit of salvation, the Maximerge XP 3BU seed box, and no till gauge and opening wheels configurations just included. Very cool here. Um, there's really not other information or anything like that here, but I imagine that we will be seeing these with their DB90 and DB120, possibly even an update to DB60 later on down the road if he decides to do that. With the recent release of White Bull Mining's Metric H6 today and their map rich port that's been sent off to Giants for testing, well, they're not done yet. They say no time to stop. We're already working on a new project. Who can guess what it is? Now, 
I don't want to speak for anybody out here, but I think I recognize that logo in the middle. Is that an international logo? That looks like an international logo to me. So what am I seeing from this? I think this is going to be a new case age or an international harvester tractor, something of the sorts like that. But what do you think it is? Stoneway Designs is back with us after a long break. They actually have a few things for us today, starting off with a new trailer. They say a uh, few things left to complete on their Brent, tra or Brent Grain Trailer 1000, but they're making good progress and figured we would like some eye candy, and I am all down for it. Uh, this does look to be in the colors of John Deere. Wonder if we'll be able to change those or not. Never know, but it is good, A, to see new Brain Cart, and, or Brent Grain Cart, and to Stoneway Designs coming back. And secondly, today, they give us a sneak peek of their starter map. They say this is a new map that they're starting to work on. They do say more to come once progress is made. Of course, things will likely change after they post this, but it is cool nonetheless. Kind of looks a bit like a logging map, or maybe we're just seeing the logging area. Either way, can't wait to see it, Stoneway. Beta Modding's got some goodies for us today, saying that the Lizard Salt Spreader is now complete with a custom fill plane and has now added color selection options for the frame. The custom fill plane was made by a great team member in modern, hey, Stoneway Designs. Oh yeah! Modern testing for consoles today, we talked about an update to the planer. Well, that is from Agrimods, and we know what the update is going to be. They say they've done a little update to the planer and now has color options of cover, so when, when unaccompanied by the tractor, uh, and it will also have a reflective triangle option as well. Saying the update's been sent off mod up, and as you can see, it is in testing right now. Fans of FDR logging seem to have found a few issues with a few things, and today FDR logging have addressed those. They say here's some issues that have been brought up by the community and feedback from the community on how to fix them if you're experiencing them. The first one today, it says you can't turn the machine cab left or right with the processor head attached or can't open the claw. Well, the fix for that would be to go into your game control bindings and clear all key com or keyboard commands for the crane arm movements. Restart the game and this issue will be gone. Helicopter won't take off using mouse clicks. But number two, well, fix for that would be currently you need to have a gamepad plugged into a USB board on your computer in order for the controls to work. If not, the helicopter won't take off working on a fix for this in a future update. Third problem today is can't use features on the attachments or body attachments. Well, fix for that will be you need to remember hitting G as in uh, good boy, I guess, <laughs> on the keyboard switches between your machine and other attachments. If something isn't working right, I try hitting G first and testing again. And the fourth one for you today and the last one from FDR Logging is when I close the grapples, the logs jitter and shoot out of the head. They go, Pow! well, fix for that would be FDR grapples are solid physics. So when you grab trees, you have to be careful not to squeeze too tight or the logs glitch. Just gently close to the logs are tight, but not jittery. If they are shaking around, just open the claws just a little bit. This will hold true for you guys that are using base game equipment as well. They say also, if you are experiencing low frame rates, this will also cause issue with the logs. Try lowering your graphic settings for best performances. And lastly, today we saw in console testing, as a matter of fact, the first modded console testing, the British Animal Husbandry's Placeables. As we know, this is a placeable pack from Peter716. This is the modder of the new map Greenlands, which we'll be showing off very, very soon. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel to check that out. But today we see the update to the Animal Placeable pack. Um, he says that these are the ones from New Park Farm and the new map Greenland, so you can place them on any map that you want, make it look like that, or rebuild the farms on these two maps once the second one is released. Should be for both PC and console giants permitting. This will be Change Log 1.1. Change the name from British Cow Sheep Pigs Placeables, British Animal Placeable Husbandries, added Pig Husbandry Large, and Beef Cattle Husbandry to this. Change to and improve the store image icons and fixed a few other things. And the only way to fix something, something, whatever, bad outro, just like every episode of Farm Some News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There are no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for up-to-date information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the Go Ham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. All being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later.
Yo, were you guys watching A2 Studios' birthday stream last night? So much important stuff happened.